First Kings 4 King Solomon was king over all Israel, and these were his high officials. Azariah the son of Zadok was the priest. Elihoref and Ahijah the sons of Shisha were secretaries. Jehoshaphat the son of Ahilud was recorder. Benaiah the son of Jehoiada was in command of the army. Zadok and Abiathar were priests. Azariah the son of Nathan was over the officers. Zabad the son of Nathan was priest and king's friend. Ahishar was in charge of the palace, and Adoniram, the son of Abda, was in charge of the forced labor. Solomon had twelve officers over all Israel, who provided food for the king and his household. Each man had to make provision for one month in the year. These were their names, Ben-Hur in the hill country of Ephraim, ben Deker in Mekaz, Shealbim, Beth-Shemesh, and elan beth Hanan, Ben-Hesed in Arabath, to him belonged Soko and all the land of Hefer. Ben Abinadab in all Napheth Dor. He had Tafath, the daughter of Solomon, as his wife. Baana, the son of Ahilud, in Taanach, Megiddo, and all Bethshean that is beside Zarethan below Jezreel, and from Bethshean to Abel Mahola, as far as the other side of Jachmium. Ben Geber in Ramoth Gilead. He had the villages of Jair, the son of Manasseh which are in Gilead, and he had the region of Argob, which is in Bashan, sixty great cities with walls and bronze bars, Ahinadab the son of Iddo in Mahanaim, Ahimeaz in Naphtali, he had taken Basimath the daughter of Solomon as his wife, Baana the son of Hushai in Asher and Beeloth, Jehoshaphat the son of Perua in Issachar, Shimei the son of Elah in Benjamin, Geber, the son of Uri, in the land of Gilead, the country of Sihon, king of the Amorites, and of Og, king of Bashan. And there was one governor who was over the land. Judah and Israel were as many as the sand by the sea. They ate and drank and were happy. Solomon ruled over all the kingdoms, from the Euphrates to the land of the Philistines and to the border of Egypt. They brought tribute and served Solomon all the days of his life. Solomon's provision for one day was thirty cores of fine flour and sixty cores of meal, ten fat oxen, and twenty pasture-fed cattle, a hundred sheep, besides deer, gazelles, roebucks, and fattened fowl. For he had dominion over all the region west of the Euphrates, from Tifsa to Gaza, over all the kings west of the Euphrates, and he had peace on all sides around him. And Judah and Israel lived in safety, from Dan even to Beersheba, every man under his vine and under his fig tree, all the days of Solomon. Solomon also had forty thousand stalls of horses for his chariots, and twelve thousand horsemen. And those officers supplied provisions for King Solomon, and for all who came to King Solomon's table, each one in his month. They let nothing be lacking. Barley also, and straw for the horses, and swift steeds they brought to the place where it was required, each according to his duty. And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding beyond measure, and breadth of mind like the sand on the seashore, so that Solomon's wisdom surpassed the wisdom of all the people of the east and all the wisdom of Egypt. For he was wiser than all other men, wiser than Ethan the Ezrahite, and Heman, Kalkol and Darda, the sons of Mahal, and his fame was in all the surrounding nations. He also spoke three thousand proverbs, and his songs were one thousand five. He spoke of trees, from the cedar that is in Lebanon to the hyssop that grows out of the wall. He spoke also of beasts, and of birds, and of reptiles, and of fish. And people of all nations came to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and from all the kings of the earth who had heard of his wisdom.